Mandarin. Bus driver! How come you came this way? You're throwing everybody around back here. We're heading to the Star Power Competition in Connecticut. And this is going to be tough. The judges are going to be looking for technique, of course, showmanship, costuming, and passion. So when the dancers step out there, they're truly passionate about their craft and what they're doing. Mackenzie. Here. Maddie. Here. Kathy's too good for us. She gets to ride in the Mercedes while we're on the bus. Who does she think she is? We all know it's a C-class. Woman at the wig shop thought I was crazy. Check an afro for a 10-year-old girl. Oh, you ended up getting one? I found one. Is it blonde? <laughs> <laughs> that would have been good. We have lots of wigs I would like to choose from for Nia. I would never select an afro wig. I would like for Nia to be beautiful and not stereotyped as someone with an afro from the 70s. on a bus with a bunch of kids just doesn't work. So here we are at Star Power, and this is a big competition for us. Our girls need to do really well. Moms, they're running 30 minutes ahead. So get the makeup on as quickly as possible so that we have time to run this number. That's more important. Maddie, how's that, how's that feel? Does it feel good? Not really. Do you have to go to the bathroom? Maddie has to go to the bathroom. No, you have, no. no. Maddie, you. listen to me. You have to go. cooperate with me. We had 30 minutes to get our kids ready. They had to be stretched. We had to put French twists in their hair, fake eyelashes, all their makeup. It was crazy. Maddie, you have one number to dance, and that's it. You're gonna deal with it. Be a grown up. Sick of this attitude. I can't deal with Maddie's attitude. She's eight years old and she, sometimes she thinks she's 16. Maddie, I'm not so for that. you need earrings first. No, Maddie, calm down, please. I'm a perfectionist. I don't like to be rushed when I'm doing my makeup and hair. Guess what? Do you wanna go home? You're never like this, stop it. Melissa's always freaking out on Maddie before the competitions. I feel bad for Maddie. Maddie, go do some turns and see if that hair moves, please. What was that about? What was that? Melissa is always on time, always prepared, always where she needs to be. And when that doesn't happen exactly as she planned, then she gets worked up, and that in turn works up her daughters. Girls, shh, stop. There are 1,500 numbers, OK? You're the first thing they're going to see from Abby Lee Miller. Do you understand how important it is? Be respectful backstage when you come off the stage. I don't care if it was good, bad, or otherwise. You act like it was the best time you ever danced. Do you understand me? This is what we have been working for all season. Today is what matters. Right now in 10 minutes. Do you understand? because each competition is one step closer to nationals. Please let me welcome Nate Umai, number 128. I corrected her over and over, and she still did it wrong. No excuses.
During the Making Mine performance, Nia was a little off. I just hope Abby's not too hard on her. Maddie's really upset right now. The group just performed, and she doesn't feel that they performed to the best of their ability. Girls, I'm talking to you right now because I'm disappointed. And why were you crying? I got hurt a little. So. You got hurt a little? What happened? Maddie jumped off my chair. I twisted my ankle. OK. Maddie was upset because Nia did not do well. But she told Abby she was upset because she twisted her ankle. Nobody knows the dance. He should go to the bathroom. Does that say registration? Yeah. Um, I am inquiring about the photogenic award. I entered Vivi in a photogenic contest. We haven't had the opportunity to do the costume catalog thing yet. Now I got a mess going on here. I thought that this would be a good start to maybe start to pursue something like that. Incline your head. Okay, you're, you're gonna. I, I won't touch you then. I oh, feel like God. the eyelashes are drooping. Do I need to staple your eyebrows up? Don't look scared. Don't don't look like somebody's goosing you. I'm feeling like you're a, a bum model. Come on. Look alive. Look at me and smile. It's big smile. Big, big, big. Get it. Click. Smile. Ugh. You're just going to look over your shoulder. She should have her hands down. Look at me and smile. OK? OK, that's cute. Don't change your face. Freeze your face. You look like a pug. Now she's running the show. I went in with the attitude that I was going to do all of the posing for Vivian, and Vivi just took off. She just went off on her own. Big smile. I was amazed because she really started to perform, and she was doing cute little poses, and she was coming up with ideas all on her own. Whatever you want to do. do whatever you feel like. I'm, I've just been fired. <laughs> It's very important that the girls win for their group numbers. They win all the time for their solos. That's easy. It's much more difficult to do a group routine. Everybody has to be in sync. Timing issues, spatial awareness, everybody on the same count at the same time. When your group wins, you've won. Only four tenths of a point separate first from third. Third place is Gratitude, number 124. Your second place world champion today is... Make You Mine, number 128. Name your studio and who's the choreographer? Abby Lee Dance Company. Our girls definitely deserved first place. We were totally shocked.